Hello everyone, I'm Harry. Hello, I'm Maria. Welcome back to King Hunsan Classroom. Today we are going to talk about one of the most destructive Lepidopteran insect pests, the four armyworm. Four armyworm is an important invasive and destructive pest in the order Lepidoptera. It can cause significant yield losses if not well managed. The larval stage is the most devastating in natural, affecting the production of crops. Uh, Forearm worm prefers maize but is not stinky and can feed on more than 100 kinds of crops in at least 27 plant families. Forearm worm larvae can attack maize at all growth stages but most often feed on the underside of the leaves, uh, including young seedlings. Uh, based on the 2018 projects by the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, up to 17.7 million tons of maize are lost annually due to foreign worm alone, representing enough to feed tens of uh, millions of people and an average economic uh, loss of 4.6 billion US dollars. Now let's take a look at how forearmy worm spread it to the world. Forearmy worm is native to the Americas and it was detected in 2016 in West Africa and Central Africa. And in end of the 2016, it was de detected also in South Africa. Within two years time, from 2017 to 2018, it has already spread all over the sub-Saharan countries to the east and directly goes into the uh, Asian countries, including China, uh, Korea, Japan, India, and almost all the, uh, all the Asian Pacific countries. And in 2020, it was also detected in Australia and Papua New Guinea and uh, Jordan and Syria in the Middle East. Uh, up to now, uh, Forearm Worm has already spread it to more than 100 countries in the world and uh, giving huge pressure and the challenges to the farmers. To control Forearm Worm, the first most important thing to farmers is to identify if the Forearm Worm is in the field. So the identification of Forearm Worm is the top priority that we have to learn. Uh, Normally, we identify forearm worm through the larvae stage because this is the most destructive stage to the crops and also has the most typical uh, identification features. Here's a picture of the larvae stage of the forearm worm. Uh, so, feature number one is that you can see an inverted Y mark, which is in white, on the head between the eyes. Here's the Y mark. And the second, the most important feature is here. To the uh, second to the last segment. Here you can see four large spots in square arrangement. And on all other segments, you can also see four smaller spots in a trapeze arrangement. And it, it has a pale dorsal line, pale dorsal line, and light bands on the side and dark band in between. So these are the four uh, most typical uh, identification features of the larvae stage of forearm worm. With these, you will easily to understand if a forearm worm already in the field. Now let's take a look at the life cycle of the forearm worm. The life cycle of forearm worm is divided to eggs, larvae, pupa, and adults. Normally, the larvae stage is also called uh, the caterpillar. Uh, one female moth can lay 100 to 200 eggs. They lay the eggs on the young leaves near the base of the plant, close to the leaf and stems. And if the population is uh, larger, then you can also find the, the eggs on the upper side of the crops. Uh, the eggs will normally be covered with protective scales wrapped off from the female moths. After three days, the young larvae will be hatched and they start with eating on the underside of the leaves. But they can uh, spin silken threads and 
catch the wind to transport themselves from one crop to another. So uh, they, if they travel to a uh, young crop, then you can find them in the uh, leaf wall. And if you, they travel to an older plant, then they prefer to the leaves uh, nearby to the crop silk. And if the plant already have the crops, then you can find them eating way through the protective leaf to the side of the crop and start feeding themselves with kernel. After around six days from hatching, the young caterpillars would enter into instar four. And between instar four to instar six, the caterpillars would have reached the protective region of the world where they do the most damage, resulting in red holes in the leaves. Uh, if they feed on young plants, they will kill all the growing points, resulting in no new leaves or crops coming out. Normally, we can only see one or two caterpillars e in each world, because uh, uh, when they grow larger and larger, they will start eating each other to reduce the competition for food. And we can also see large quantities of caterpillar pool uh, looking like sawdust. After approximately 14 days from hatching, the fully grown caterpillar will drop from the leaf to the soil. It will burrow 2 to 8 centimeters into the soil before pupating. And the pupa will be covered with a 20 to 30 millimeter lens oval shaped cocoon. And if the soil is too hard for caterpillars to dig in, they will also cover themselves with leaf debris before pupating. After approximately eight to nine days, the adult mouth emerges uh, and uh, the female will lay most of their eggs uh, within four to five days in their life. And uh, the new life cycle will start. So after uh, going through all the life cycle of forearm worm, now let's follow Rhea to see how we can control forearm worm. Forearm worm is very difficult to control because of the following reasons. The larvae may be do the damage, but the adult moths ensure the rapid spreading. Moths are very strong players, covering vast distances every week. If pushed by winds, they can fly up to 100 km a day. Forearm worm is not always easy to detect. The larva penetrates of the claws and feed from the inside, making it harder to be detected. The ability for the forearm worm to survive winter depends on the severity of the temperature. Since African countries do not really have cold winters, Sorry infestation is present all year round. The pest reproduces at a rapid speed. An adult female can lay up to 2,000 eggs per female, and several and overlapping of generations occur every year. In warm climates, up to 10 generations per year or more are possible. Farmers need great support through integrated pest management to manage for armyworm in their crop systems. Monitor for armyworm damage on leaves is very important. Inspect 25 plants and count how many have damage. If 4 to 5 plants out of the 25 inspected are damaged, you need to take action. The actions include hand pick and destroy egg masses and young caterpillars on leaves. Use very more traps for mouse control. Use predatory insects. Use by all pesticide based on bacillus, strong genes, or virus. If present in large numbers, chemical control is necessary. Here is some commercial product used worldwide. Very more traps include yellow sticking trap, molasses trap, predatory insects include air bag, assassin bag, Stanking bag, biopesticide is bacillus thuringiensis. Insecticides include flu benzamide, chlorantraniplo, spinotoram, clorfenipir, indoxicap, glufenurin, imbamectin benzoate. There are also some other insecticides effective on forearm worm. 
but we need to be very careful to choose the right products because some insecticides are very toxic to humans, nature animals, and the environment. And insecticides are expensive, but some of them are not effective on for animal. So consult your nearest agricultural officer for recommended pesticides and their rate of application. According to For Animal Worm, Kinkusan has developed an effective product, King's Trader. If you are interested, please contact us. All right, this is all for today. Hope this video can help you have a new understanding of For Animal Worm. If you like it, please subscribe to our channel. If you have any more questions regarding to For Animal Worm, please leave us a message down here below in the comment zone and Kim Hyun-san will try to provide you with more information regarding to the pesticide industry and pest control. Kim Hyun-san, focus on your harvest. harvest.